Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be kind of a little bit of a different kind of video, but it is definitely one for all of my ladies out there. Anyone who has traveled along the way has known that it's a little harder to do some of the common things that we enjoy doing when it comes to our daily grooming. You can do it, it just takes a little bit more effort when you're in such a small space. So today I wanted to cover one of the things that I am so excited about with you all. Now for those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you probably have seen the variations of hair that I've had along the way. And I've done different colors and things like that, but for the most part, we've kept it nice, short, and sassy. <laughs> but one of the things that you might have also noticed is at one point I went from doing my hair down more to doing my hair up more. And there's a reason for that. Now whenever I started my channel I rocked out some fun, funky, crazy styles. I did some mohawks. I did some curl hawks. I did a nice little flip out. Some really fun interesting things. But then at one point I kind of just stopped. And the reason why I stopped is because I I actually lost the ability to curl my hair on the road. Now, as many of you know, I travel in my 2020 NV200 and my power source has literally been a variety of different power stations. Well, at the time that I started out my channel, I had a little tiny curling iron that I could travel with. However, that thing broke and I could never find one that I was happy with and uh, couldn't really replace it that way. So I just opted to do easier styles like flat hair and then also the floof or double floof that you've seen here on the channel. I love to have fun, I love to experiment and do new things, but this wasn't a top priority because my top priority was the adventures that I was going on. But every so often it's really nice to have a fancy day where you put together yourself a little bit more, you put on a face of makeup and you do your hair real cute and then you go out into the world and say hey I'm a normal person, I just happen to travel in a van. Now I have looked long and hard for a replacement for this thing and finally, finally I found one. So I wanted to share it with you all and I think we're gonna try it out today to see what's going on and if this indeed will be a valid replacement. Now I wanted to share this because for one, a lot of you out there have asked me to share things like this. I've shared my nightly routine and many other things that go into my day-to-day -day van life, but this is something that has never been touched on the channel before until today. Now off and on I have looked and looked and looked in stores and online and I've seen several different options but I've kind of always just shoved them to the back because they didn't really fit what I was looking for in my head. And that was something super small, compact, and rechargeable. I needed it to be all those things. And I know small and compact sound the same, but they're not. It wasn't until last week, whenever the Bus Life Pirates actually posted something on Instagram that was challenging you to post old photos of yourself, that I started combing through all of these old adventure photos and I found some of my best hairstyles, like of all times when I was rocking the short hawk and all sorts of cool stuff. And it really got me to exploring this again Again, because I miss doing my hair like that. Now, it's not an everyday thing that I'm gonna do a whole lot with. However, I am going to be able to access a few additional styles to make me feel more comfortable and confident while traveling. And so, in this moment of inspiration, I went on to Amazon, the place we all go when we want to spend money, and I found something that I'd never seen in any of my other searches. And that was this guy, this guy right here. Now, this is a tiny little USB curling iron. That's right, I said USB curling iron. That means that I can charge it using my USB and it's going to be a lower draw than a standard plug would be. And I'm really excited about checking this out. It came in just the other day while I'm here at base camp 
and I want to take this with me whenever I go to the southwest because there will be days when we're in the desert in our outdoor clothes just hiking along but then there's going to be some days whenever I go into like Sedona and Phoenix and I go to some museums and I go to some places that are like fancier and by fancy I just mean I don't want to wear athleisure wear and this will come in handy because then I will look like a fully prepared put together human once again. Now we've all been there. We've all been in that moment where we're just like, oh my gosh, I really just want to do something nice for myself. I really want to put myself together a little tiny little bit. And so doing something that is super easy can make all the difference in the world for how we feel overall. And so I decided this was a perfect way to make me just feel so much better some days. Those days whenever my hair doing all sorts of crazy stuff and I can't figure it out I can just put it in this and do a little flip out and it'll be so cute and I know for a fact this works because whenever I lived a more traditional life in a sticks and bricks I could wake up with crazy hair that was shooting all over the place brush it forward flip it out once and you couldn't tell me that I wasn't going to rock on that day so since I am at base camp this is a good place for us to test this to make sure we don't fry our hair and also while it's still within the return policy if it doesn't work out we're gonna check it out while we're here so I'm gonna take this guy inside we're gonna open it up we're gonna read the instructions find out what we need to do and give it a little testy poo and see what we think now if this works does that mean I won't be wearing hats anymore absolutely not I really like hats and uh, I'm always gonna keep a few of them in the van it's just how it is but um this this is promising okay this is the Simbel mini cordless hair curler it is the model BJB U004 in white and this is what it's supposed to look like now I did see that on the packaging, there's some very interesting things on here. It has several languages represented, so that's kind of cool. And then also it does have on the back a diagram of all the different parts. So according to this, it is a rapid heat up, so only about 30 seconds, and it gets to a curling capacity, so we shall see. Okay, straight out of the box, this is what it looks like. We have our instructions manual right here with some more information. It has some great stuff, including another diagram. So that's super handy. One thing that I noticed is it has an LED indicator, which means that that's going to take less of the power, which is super cool. And it also has a cool tip. So while I'm using this, I'll be able to touch the end of it without burning myself. That is a huge, huge, big advantage right there. Now, this is something that I was interested about, and that's part of the reason why I chose this one. Down here, the working voltage and also the charging voltage. It takes five volts right here to charge, and then the working current is 8.5 amps. Now, I know that this sounds a little crazy, but as a person who uses power stations, I have become pretty well versed in this, and this is a good sign. This means that I'll be able to use this with basically any of my power stations. The item itself is enclosed in this little plastic, so we'll take the lid off, and you can see it is tiny, tiny. In fact, let's see if I can get this out with one hand here. This is perfect. This is small, but has a large enough hand grip that I can get a good handle of the hair. It has a nice little clasp, and then this is that cooling end that stays cool. So this is a wonderful size, but another thing that I really liked about this one when I saw it was that it also includes this little barrel holder. And what this is gonna do is actually keep the barrel together whenever it's in storage, but also, it will keep it from having any kind of like issues with things getting in there and potentially causing it damage, which is really nice. As you can see when I set it down, it has a little lip that it sits on so that the barrel itself does not touch what you're sitting it on so it keeps the heat off of that which is another thing that I really wanted within my van and then as you can see here this is just the little wiring bundle it's a USB plug-in and then it has a little outlet that can go directly into the curling iron so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so it can charge up and then we will see what it does okay there's a little bit of a learning curve to this so I plugged it in at the 
block and it wasn't really doing anything. So I was like, okay. So I plugged it into the Blue Eddy, which is a power station that I use pretty frequently now and um, still nothing. So I have it plugged into a wall plug to see if it is in fact, just that it needs that big draw or what the deal is because I can't get an adequate readout on the Blue Eddy because it doesn't initially charge. Now it is a heating device. So sometimes those take a lot of power. That could be it. Or it could just be that this is a faulty one and I need to return this and try again. Ah, this is real life. This is why I do things here at base camp so that you guys don't have to make these same mistakes that I do along the way. Now, I really want this to work. I'm crossing my fingers that it works because I'm so looking forward to these cute hairstyles again. If not, we're back to the drawing board. Hmm. Okay, I'm going through the options and the options for return on this are replace it with the exact same item, refund it to my Amazon balance, or refund it to my card. And I don't know, should I, should I get the refund to the card and just go with a different item? Or should I get the same item? I'm not sure. As I'm sitting here printing out my return label, Riley and I were talking about this epic fail disappointment. And um, let's see what she has to say. Oh no. I was really hoping this would work because I want to start curling my hair too. See? So what are you going to do? Yeah. See? Ah, <gasps> this was an L for us all. An L for us all. But um yeah, the return label is uh already printed. So it's going back. Womp womp womp. Guys, do you see what I see? It started blinking. I don't know exactly what that means because I definitely messed with it for like an hour and it did nothing. And then all of a sudden, now we're here. Huh? Should I return it? Should I keep it? Does it work? Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it does. We turn it on. No. No, it's, it's, it still doesn't work. Okay, we have an update. Um, I printed out a shipping label and I was all ready to send this thing back. And I had also reached out to the company because I wanna believe that this is just like a one-off. I want to believe that. This is quite a journey, I know, but just keep going with me on this. Um, the company said that for its first initial charge, even though it doesn't say this anywhere in the instructions, it needs to be plugged into a physical wall. So we're gonna give it one more shot and uh, see what happens. Now, whenever I was over and I did the little update where it was like it turned on, but it didn't actually heat up. They said it needs to be plugged in for at least an hour before it can heat up. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because we're already doing a video here. So continue to follow me on this journey. Oh my goodness. Why can't it ever be easy, guys? I'm just wondering, if I wouldn't have been at base camp, this would not be something that would be possibly attainable for the first charge. So that still could impact your thoughts on this. However, if you're a person who travels out of a base camp, this still could work. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a little bit before I take it to UPS, okay? We're gonna we're gonna take it to UPS if it doesn't work, but we're gonna we're gonna do an update in just a minute after it's had some time to charge on a wall. <laughs> I asked them also in this email string if I would be able to charge it off a power station after, and supposedly I will, so we shall see. Um, I just wanna give you guys the most honest review that I can. <sighs> it shouldn't be this hard just to be able to fix your hair. I'm just saying. Um, something that's such a small little piece of vanity shouldn't be this hard. <sighs> but I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's been sitting here for a bit and it's kind of warm to the touch on the barrel, so it is working. Oh my goodness, wow, a journey we've been on and I'm really happy that they did email me. However, this is gonna be the true test. We're about to turn it on and this little green blinking light here should turn like a yellowy color and that, that's what they told me, it's like a yellow or orange. Okay, so you can see it. it, it's flashing the green. I'm going to unplug it because you can't use it while it's plugged in. It goes black 
And then, oh, it's turning red. So it is actually heating up with that rapid cycle now. Oh, it's getting warm. Okay, 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 this is working. So I am now going to take a section of my hair while I've got it here, and I'm just going to put it on here, and we're going to curl. Okay, okay. Oh, it does work! It's not super warm. However, I only had it charging for a bit. So it does work. Huh. Okay. Okay, so, so this might work after all. I'm going to charge it for a bit longer and see if we can get it super, super hot. And if it works, works, then um, I, I take back everything I said. At the same time, it shouldn't be this hard to use a product. And it definitely shouldn't have had to say it has to be plugged into a wall. It should be able to be plugged into any kind of device. So I do want to test it out in a couple of different ways to see why it wouldn't charge. Have you ever gotten to a point where you're doing something and it's just all blending together? That's where I'm at right now. <sighs> Why couldn't this have just been easy, guys? Is this gonna work out? I don't know yet. We're gonna find out though, and I'm, I'm, I'm still crossing my fingers and optimistic because you saw the sheer joy I had. You saw it. It shouldn't be this frustrating just to purchase something and, and get it to work, you know? But if it does work, I'm gonna keep it. I am gonna keep it. And if it doesn't, we're sending it back to the Amazon headquarters or, or distribution center, whoever ends up with these returns. <sighs> I just I, I just don't understand how it can be so hard just to have cute hair. Like literally, this has been several years in the making of finding the right item. So, so, the fingers are crossed. The hopes are high. The expectations are on the floor though. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it sitting there for like a while, I think. And then after I've let it sit for a while, then we'll try the official curl test. Now, my hair never holds curl for very long unless I put product on it. So this is more so just us testing it out, not necessarily us achieving a style. I just wanna know that it can do it. A and then I'll go searching out new products because I'm ready to do my hair again. And again, for all you guys who are out there watching and not interested at all, but still here for moral support, Thank you, thank you so much. Ooh, ooh, we have success. I let it charge for about two hours on the wall, and then I went ahead and plugged it in like they told me to on the email, and guess what? Surprise, surprise, I can plug it into a power station now. What? And I did wanna go ahead and do this because I wanted to show you how many watts that it does pull. It pulls about eight watts while it's charging. So I'm just gonna let it continue to charge a bit more. I don't know if this light gets to a place where it just turns solid or if it turns a color. It does not say that. So we're just gonna keep going with this, but I am much more optimistic now. Okay, so now that it's charged, and I, I do realize I'm celebrating two holidays here, I'm sorry. Um, it's time for us to turn it on and uh, there we go. Let's see, on, there it is. Okay, we have a red light, which means that it's ready to go. And then um, we're just gonna take a section of hair and we're going to pull it through. And again, I don't need something very big. I have very fine hair, so that could also impact my results because my hair is so fine. Definitely feeling it heating up. I probably should have let it heat up all the way first. Oh, but it is getting warm. Oh yeah, it's getting super warm. Okay, so whenever I release. Oh yeah, that is definitely good. And if I had some product, I think you could see this would this would hold quite a nice little a little flip, a little swoosh, so to speak. So let me do this piece here. I'm gonna do a smaller piece. 
and let's turn this one. So I'm just gonna curl it in, pull the other hairs away, and then I'm gonna turn it and we're gonna roll it down. See if that works. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It works! It works! Oh, this is so exciting. This is gonna be so exciting. Again, I'll have to put product in because you can see the hair just completely falls straight again. But if the product is there and the heat works now, this is a keeper. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, oh, I definitely feel, feel the warmth exuding. Um, I'm touching the end cap. It is definitely cold to the touch. The hair itself is warm, but not so hot that it's like miserable. And then we gently release. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. It worked. There was so much drama to get it to work, but it works guys. So everything that I said about the Simbella before, whenever I was in that moment where it wasn't working, um, basically if you are interested in this curling iron, you, you just need to like plug it into a wall first. After you plug it into a wall for about an hour, after that it will charge perfectly fine, which makes zero sense whatsoever. However, apparently that's just what it is. So if you would like to be able to curl your hair with dainty little cute curls, and you are looking for a good way to have fancy days while also doing van life, this is actually quite good. Again, it met all of my criteria when I was looking. The size, the durability, the cool to the touch, the barrel that does not let this part also get hot, those were big things. And now that I know that it can be charged on a USB, on a power station, this is a big win. Oh, we're gonna be looking cute. We're gonna be looking cute.